guys, welcome back to a brand new video with Justin Kids here. And today we're going to be doing types of clouds. Now, as you can see, I did a lot of slide videos. And every time I do a slide video, I always do it on my daddy's computer. But, uh, today we are going to be learning about clouds. Like, Types of clouds. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we have cloud formation. Water from the earth, ocean, or other bodies of water and the ground evaporates and rises into the atmosphere. Evaporates means a liquid like water turns into a gas like water vapor. When water vapor cools into the atmosphere, the vapor condenses back into a liquid water droplet. Condensation means a gas, uh, like water vapor, turns into a liquid, like water. The water droplets are, that are light enough to stain the atmosphere form clouds. Uh, when water droplets become too heavy to stay aloft, the water droplets become raindrops and fall back to earth. Uh, types of clouds. There are three basic types of clouds. Cirrus, cumulus, and stratus. Cir cirrus clouds are short and wispy. They are high in the sky. The cloud can form on, on any altitude between 16,500 feet to 45,000 feet above sea level. Cumulus clouds are puffy that look like, like pieces of cotton. They are altitudes uh, between 2,000 feet and 7,000 feet above the ground. Cum Cumulus from vertical like tall towers. Cause see that image right there? It shows that image of how tall those towers are. Wow, clouds are fancy. Stress clouds are wide area horizontal form clouds. They cover the whole sky in the local area. <laughs> It prevents us from seeing the sun, moon, plants, and stars at night. They form from the ground fog to 700 feet above the ground. Cumulus clouds. Basic cumulus clouds, also called fair weather clouds, they are small and puffy look scattered over the sky on sunny days. Cumulimbus clouds. Now, there are actually two different clouds. Basic cumulus clouds and basic cumulimbus clouds. But let's read about cumulimbus clouds. They're often called the thunderstorm cloud. They often rise to altitudes between 40,000 feet. Uh, lightning forms when charged cloud particles, ice and water droplets, collide uh, to form electricity. Cloud, cloud to ground lightning. Uh, cloud to cloud lightning. Uh, lightning is five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Can you believe that? Lightning is five times hotter than the sun's surface, but the sun's core is hotter than lightning. Uh, rain forms when water droplets become large and heavy enough to fall to the ground. Uh, next we have stratus clouds. Uh, basic stratus clouds. Uh, out. Stratus clouds are low-level clouds characterized by horizontal laying formed with a, with a uniform base as opposite to contiv or, or cumuliform clouds that are formed by rising terminals. Uh, 
Stress clouds are you form grayish clouds that often cover the entire sky. Nimbostratus. Nimbostratus clouds are gray clouds that produce rain, snow, or sleet, but lightning and to or thunder, but no lightning or thunder. The darker the clouds, the heavier the rain. Cause look. Because those two images, one of them that shows the dark of clouds, that means the wind, that means the rain is going to be heavy. But that is not a thunderstorm cloud, even though it looks like one. What about cirrus clouds? Cirrus clouds are wispy, hair like clouds found high in the Earth's atmosphere. Cirrus clouds are usually between 5 to 10 miles above sea level. Cirrus clouds are made of ice crystals. They're the, they are the lightest clouds in the daytime. I mean, whitest clouds in the daytime. Cirrus clouds means good weather or good deed, I like to say. Other kinds of cirrus clouds are cumul... Are cumulus, cirrocumulus, or cirrostratus? Cirrocumulus are high puffy clouds. Cirrostratus are high, but thin white, but but thin but white clouds. So as you can see, cumulus clouds are like high puffy clouds, but cirrostratus are are actually these type of clouds. Here we have the last page, we have the summary. Clouds are very important to our planet. They recycle water to sustain life. They provide shade to plants and animals. Clouds help clean the atmosphere. There are three basic types of clouds. Cirrus clouds are high in the sky. S stratus clouds, White area clouds that block out the sun and cumulus are very puffy clouds that are vertical. But uh, what about these soundings? What about uh, nimbus and nimbo? Well, if you hear the word nimbus, you, you know that's a rain cloud. Any cloud that ends with nimbus means that's a rain cloud. But nimbo means that's not a rain cloud. Uh, like nimbo stress and, and cumulimbus, uh, the thunderstorm cloud. So anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. And if you want to see more videos, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now or I'll be so angry. So anyway, Bye, guys!